Hello Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is going to be your monthly love reading for August of 2019. If you are currently a subscriber, I just want to say thank you so much for all your love and support. Um, I really appreciate it. If you are not currently subscribed, please be sure to tap one time on that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner under this video um, to enter a chance to win a free 30 minute love reading with me. Um, I have already chosen the winner for July. It'll be announced at the end of this reading. So if you are currently a subscriber of mine, please be sure to, um, you know, watch till the end so you see if you won, okay? Um, now, for the month of August, guys, I'm going to be choosing six winners, okay? One for a free 30 minute love reading and five winners to have one question answered by me, okay? So please make sure to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Six winners for the month of August, okay? Now, uh, if you have any questions about my decks, I get a lot of, you know, and there's even more up here that you guys can't see. I have a lot of decks, um, so they are all listed in the description box below. Uh, for the month of August, I'm gonna be using the Crystal Visions deck. It's a beautiful deck. It's also listed in the description box below with a link to Amazon in case you guys want to purchase or check it out, okay? I am available for personal readings. Um, if you happen to be a Leo cross watcher, happy birthday, and um, Leos will be getting uh, $10 off of all readings, 30 minutes or more, um, unlimited for the month for all of Leo season. If you are a subscriber of mine or a new subscriber, if it is your first time having a reading done with me, you get $10 off your first reading. I do not know how long I'm going to be running that promotion for, so grab it while you can, guys. Um, the information is listed in the description box below to book a personal reading with me, uh, or you can go to my website, www.thetaroflight.com. Okay, so now that I've given you guys a headache, let's get started. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Okay, let's see what we have going on for you guys. So I feel like we have some new beginnings happening in the month of August, okay? Um, there may be somebody that wants to apologize or you expect an apology from somebody. Um, I do feel things getting better in your relationships for the month of August, Taurus. Um, you know, there may have been a lot of... Uh, emotional disconnection happening, a lot of people, um, you know, not trusting the other person, maybe a lot of heartache happening, uh, you know, maybe some lying that was happening, but I feel like the rela your relationships um, are going to get stronger for the month of August, or you as a person are going to get stronger um, in the month of August. I feel like there may have been some you know, tower moments for a lot of you, some harsh realizations for a lot of you, but either an apology is going to be coming in, you're going to be issuing an apology, or if that apology doesn't come in, um, then we're going to definitely be coming stronger as people um, from that experience, okay? And we're going to have, you know, a lot of changes, whether it's, whether it's you're staying with this person and there's going to be change and new beginnings with this person, or you're going to change and have a new beginning for yourself, okay? Um, you know, either way, I do see like, you know, messages of love coming in, you know, either to yourself or from somebody or to somebody. And I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this recovery, either in your relationship or in your own personal healing. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of communication, whether it's between you and your partner or just you, you know, having these conversations with yourself to overcome the situation. So I, I feel a lot of, you know, overcoming and healing whether it's you doing it by yourself or you doing it reconciling with your partner for the month of August, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get started here. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my choices for the month of August, please? August 2019, love messages for Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages does Taurus need to hear for August of 2019? Okay. All right, guys. So we're starting here with the Seven of Wands, overcoming. Okay. Um, we're, we have Temperance here. So we could be dealing with a Libra. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Lovers. We could be dealing with a Gemini. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, and we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. 
Okay. We have the Emperor. We could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, or that could be you and your energy. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Aries, Gem uh, sorry, Aries, Libra, or Cancer. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That could be, again, you standing in your energy. We have the Magician here. The Four of Wands. second that card just went flying queen of pentacles knight of wands the high priestess cancer scorpio pisces energy knight of pentacles the death card like i said change in new beginnings five of swords Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. <coughs> okay, so under the deck, your energy is the Two of Wands. Okay, the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands is... Um, a decision being made you're making a decision you're going to be thinking on this decision you know the four of swords here you're going to be thinking about it and i feel like you're going to be coming into this uh queen of wands energy and we have the moon right after so what i feel like this tells me is like you're going from this place of with the moon um darkness like maybe keeping your feelings in the dark how, how how you've really been feeling you've been kind of like just been in this dark mood okay just dark mood not knowing what's going to happen not knowing which way to turn you know just not in a good place like a lot of maybe secrets came out that were in the dark but now you're coming into this queen of wands, wands energy look at how beautiful and bright that card is you know you got the oranges and the yellows and i feel like you're coming into this sexy energy you're coming into your power um you know more socializing you know drinking going out with friends going out with family um very productive at work like you're, you're gonna start stepping into energy here in the month of august okay um you're done, you know, you're just done with the fighting, the strife, the, you know, you're just done with it. We have the Nine of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So this is you. And you are slowly moving here towards overcoming. As I said, towards overcoming. Okay, with the Seven of Wands. Um, we have you taking control of your surroundings, your emotions, and your life in general. Where We have you standing in your power there, Taurus, okay? Um, we have the Hierophant card here, which means, you know, again, like I said, whether you're moving towards somebody and overcoming and standing in your power in this committed energy, okay, in, in a commitment, in a relationship with your person, this could be a marriage, this could be a deep commitment, um, or I feel like you could be committing to yourself, you could be committing th th this healing to yourself by yourself personally, all right, um, we have the high priestess here, which is, you know, intuition, it's spirituality, it's, it's you, tuning your feelings it, i feel like you're just coming into this place of healing of, of, of healing you know we have temperance here which is balance you know you're patiently balancing out your emotions like i feel like these butterflies here you know it's just like you're releasing you're just releasing things you know releasing things and just letting them fly away and balancing out your emotions um we have the king of cups here cancer scorpio pisces energy which again it's very emotional okay it's very emotional um for those of you who are reconciling or you know in a commitment we have the three of pentacles so you guys are going to be overcoming the problems working through your problems in your relationships all right um we have the queen of pentacles here capricorn taurus virgo energy uh again this is nurturing the relationship it's a nurturing energy committed stable energy okay it may have been 
you know, hard. It may have been hard. It's going to be a little bit of a burden. But I feel like, you know, we have a lot of work happening here towards new beginnings. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress here. So this could also be someone that you're married to and have children with because we have the Emperor and the Empress here and the King of Cups. So this could be, you know, a marriage being worked through. This could be, you know, a deep commitment that we're working through. Or I also just feel in general that for those of you who haven't reached that reconciliation part yet, and you're just going to have a lot of internal <coughs> healing here. You're going to be putting a lot of work into healing yourself or a relationship. So we have the Knight of Wands here, which is somebody passionately coming towards you, Taurus, or you passionately going towards someone else. We have the Lover's card here, which tells me that, you know, I feel like you've decided who you want to be with. You've decided what lover you want, and you want this deep, loving commitment. And again, even if it's not reconciled, I don't know why I feel like for some of you very strongly, even if you're not going towards a partner, even if you're not reconciling with a partner, you're moving towards the healing in yourself. You're deciding to to love yourself again okay we have the king of pentacles uh, being clarified by the five of cups yeah so you know this is again your energy here capricorn taurus virgo energy we have the five of cups here which is a feeling of regret a feeling of loss a feeling of pain okay and this could have been from somebody that walked away from you or somebody that you walked away from because you felt stabbed in the back so you're coming out of a lot of pain here a lot of a sense of loss regret hurt confusion why did this person do this to me you know what i'm saying and this could be vice versa it could be your person too um but now we have you suddenly out of nowhere just standing in your power the nine of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy okay um Financially stable, strong, peaceful, serene, okay? Serene. And we have the Four of Wands here being clarified by the Seven of Swords. So again, this, this speaks of the Four of Wands is a soulmate connection, twin flame connection, possibly family, marriage, kids, the whole nine, okay? There was cheating, there was, there was lying, deceiving, somebody was being a trickster. You really, really got hurt here, Taurus, okay? Or it could be that you really, really hurt somebody else, all right? But the bottom line here is, is that we are overcoming this. We are healing from this. There's gonna be change and new beginnings change and new beginnings from being left out in the cold so again there's either going to be reconciliation somebody's going to be coming towards you you're going to be going towards somebody that you left out in the cold there's going to be change okay there's going to be change and you've manifested this we have the magician here you've manifested this change because you know the, the, this wall has been up long enough with the nine of wands you've been walking around with this wall up being defensive or so or it could be your person okay for long enough and you've just manifested such amazing healing and change so this is going to be the month where either you know an apology is going to come in you're going to issue an apology and you guys are going to work on this marriage work on this relationship work on this commitment or you're going to move on from it you're going to experience a, a, a real sense of healing here, um, a real sense of healing, and you're just going to come into your power and say, okay, it is what it is, you know? So it's either healing in a relationship, healing yourself. One way or the other, whichever way that resonates, it's a beautiful month because the pain is gone. The pain is you're just leaving it behind, whether it's reconciliation or just in your own power, doesn't matter. You're just leaving it behind okay all right taurus very beautiful reading i wish you guys the best um the winner for july of 2019 for the 30 minute love reading is crystal riley crystal riley so crystal if you're watching this um you could reach me the information is in the description box below guys please do not forget to subscribe i'm choosing six winners for the month of august six one for the 30 minute love reading Five readers for a, uh, five winners for a uh, to have one question answered by me. Okay, and again, if you want to book me for a personal reading, um, my information is in the description box below, guys. Take care.